updates on one of our previous Nintendo lawsuit topics, and behold, your savior is here. But he has some issues. We've got that and a ton more on this episode of the Weekly Geek. Terry, roll the clip. Hello, AAC Universe, and welcome back to the Weekly Geek. I'm your host, Grand Admiral Joey, and thank you for living life animated. If you are new here to the Animated Apparel Company YouTube channel, make sure to smash that subscribe and bell notification button. New episodes of the Weekly Geek come out every single Friday, bringing you the best geek news from the week past. For the first bit of geek news, summer is upon us, and finding summer activities for your kids is something I know a lot of parents stress about, whether the reasoning is just to make the best summer possible, or getting your kids out of the house and out of your hair like my parents' philosophy was. Well, look no further, Apple Camp has just started up again for kids ranging 8 to 12. Apple Camp takes place inside select Apple stores and is completely accessible from home as well with home activities. Camp organizer says that Apple Camp invites kids on video creation expeditions using the app called Clips in the Apple Store. Campers will create short videos from start to finish, learning how to plan, experiment with angles and transitions, and make their videos shine with memojis, stickers, posters, and more. Kids will get a certificate and a camp t-shirt to take home. Devices will be provided at the camp and registration is limited at the in-person camp so make sure to head over to Apple's website for more information. If I had kids myself this would definitely be a camp that I would roll my kids in. Personally I had a big draw to technology and video creation growing up and it shaped the person who I am today. That's why I love doing things like hosting your favorite geek news show and managing our wonderful team at AAC. But let me hear from you parents. Do you think Apple Camp is something your kids would enjoy attending? And for everyone else how has growing up learning and adapting to technology improved your life? Let me know. Next up I'm going to be giving an update on a lawsuit we covered back in another episode of the Weekly Geek involving a website called ROM Universe and Nintendo. If you missed that episode of the Weekly Geek and want to catch up on what's going on a little bit more in depth, then the original episode should be up in the iCards about now, so check it out and come back here. But just to briefly summarize, Matthew Storman is the owner of a site called ROM Universe, and he was sued by Nintendo for selling ROMs and subscriptions to games owned by Nintendo and doing damages to the trademark and Nintendo's brand image. The original $15 million request from Nintendo in 2019 was knocked down to just 2.1 million after a judge's ruling and the ROM site has been down long since. The court also ruled that the owner would not have a permanent injunction from running the website but would still be accountable for the final dollar verdict, basically meaning he could potentially make some version of the website again but he would still have to pay money regardless of what he does. Now to present day, the owner of ROM Universe has filed a motion for the entire verdict to be completely thrown out and argues that Nintendo hasn't actually suffered from their brand damages. Storman, the owner, is set to begin paying back his $2.1 million verdict and has agreed to do so in monthly payments of $50, which, if I've done the math right, should take about 3,500 years, give or take a few. Yeah, 3,500 years, $50 a month. Yeah. To make matters even more interesting, Storman has failed to pay his first monthly $50 and Nintendo is left questioning if they will ever see money from Storman. Nintendo's defense team says this failure to make even the modest $50 payment, an amount that he proposed and agreed to, demonstrates that Nintendo has no adequate remedy at law for the defendant's past or future infringements and underscores the need for a permanent injunction. But let's be honest, what did Nintendo really expect to get from a guy that made his living from selling their games online and then they shut that all down. As of now, ROMUniverse.com is down and it goes to show that you can't squeeze gold coins out of a stone. The Weekly Geek team has reached out to ROM Universe to hear their comments, but we haven't heard back from him yet, but we'll keep you updated if anything new comes from this story. Now let's take a moment to pay some bills to help keep the lights on in this place, so make sure you head over to AnimatedApparelCompany.com right now and get some of our officially licensed merch from anime, comics, 90s cartoons, Marvel, DC, Star Wars, and all. A link to the site is down below so make sure you check out all of our fully licensed merch. This week's Weekly Geek product is our gray banana t-shirt. This t-shirt is made of soft spun cotton giving you the maximum amount of comfort when wearing the maximum amount of cuteness. Go grab this shirt while it's still in stock using the offer code Weekly Geek to get 30% off. This week I had an awesome opportunity to chat with the YouTube creator known as Hey Archer about the recent injuries Harrison Ford got himself into while filming Indiana Jones 5. Hey Archer is a super awesome guy. I really enjoyed having him on the show. So let's see what he has to say. For anybody who uh, who doesn't know who this is, this is uh, the legendary Hey Archer. He's on YouTube with his two uh, his two YouTube channels, Hey Archer and Nerd Affiliated. Man, I appreciate you coming on, being the first guest of the show. 
it is an honor to be the first guest and an honor to be on your show as a fan of your show. So <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, I, when when putting together the show, I was like, he's got to be one of the first. I probably told like two <laughs> people. I was like, he's got to be, if he is not the first, he's got to be one of the first. Well, we kind of talked about in the last episode of The Weekly Geek, um, one of the segments was Harrison Ford getting injured on his set for Indy 5, Indiana Jones 5. Um, Harrison Ford is 78 um, and he does most of, you know, all of his own stunts. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're going to see a lot of setback for Indy 5 or? You know what? It's a combination of things because not only is it that he's so accident prone that he crashed his own plane, right. but also the fact that <laughs> a word on the street is he's kind of over all the roles that he's created. So like he's done with Star Wars. I oh yeah. Like I feel like he's been done with Indy but they must be cutting the check. Will we get the movie? I'm kind of 50-50 on it. Basically, all we've seen so far is that Disney spokesperson, um, they've said that, you know, they're gonna assess where they're at um, and continue filming other shoots. But I mean, man, <laughs> at 78. And it's funny is I had to do, I did a little bit of research for this. I usually like to come off the cuff, but I was like, I need to find just one piece of information. And in case all of you at home are wondering, Sean Connery in The Last Crusade, RIP Sean Connery, Sir Sean Connery, uh, was 59, I believe, when he did The Last Crusade, even though he was looking 70, what'd you say, 78? Or really? Harrison yeah. Ford, so. yeah. Yeah, he's 78 yeah. now. It's funny because Sean Connery always, uh, it's like he always plays the old person. Always. I only think of him as the old person. He yeah. does it well. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to count this as in the four. I will not acknowledge that there was a fourth movie. <laughs> so I'm going to count this as Indy 4, the director's cut. Or you know what? It's going to be Indy 4, the Harrison cut. Man, tell us a little bit about your YouTube channel, what you have going on over on uh, on the platforms that you're on. Yeah, sure. So, you know, as mentioned, I'm Hey Archer. The main channel is Hey Archer. Uh, over there, it's all sorts of fun nerd stuff, which is, you know, unboxing. I do my two minute reviews. I do Hey Archer Live every Thursday at 8 p.m. where we all kind of nerd out together. Awesome but, show. Love that show. I appreciate that. And <laughs> yes, you you have to be a guest one day on the show as well. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I felt the passion to do something that was a little bit more affiliated to all the nerd stuff. So I created my vlog channel, which kind of turned into a toy hunting channel. Uh, so that is nerd affiliated. You can check that out on YouTube. I haven't I haven't got the subscriber count to make it youtube.com slash nerd affiliated. <laughs> so those of you at home, if you can do me a favor, head over to nerd affiliated, drop a sub and uh, let's get to a hundred. Yeah, y'all head over there right now. I mean, he has got awesome content. If you love stuff that happens on uh, the Weekly Geek, that happens on AAC, then you're gonna love the stuff that Hey Archer has going on on his stuff. Um, that's, one, that's one of the big reasons I had to have him on this show, one of the first, and I, I hope that uh, he'll definitely return uh, for some Weekly Geek. Um, appearances. So I appreciate you coming on again, man. Uh, remember to head over to Hey Archer's um, content. Links for his stuff is going to be in our description. Um, if you're seeing this on social media, of course, we got to be tagged. So head over there as well. And uh, well, back to the Weekly Geek, I guess. <laughs> like I mentioned, make sure to head over to both Hey Archer and Nerd Affiliated to check out all of the awesome nerd content that he has going on over there. If you are a YouTube creator or just a fan of the show and want to come on, reach out to Animated Apparel Company on any social channel or simply leave a comment below. Let's coordinate a date to get you on and let's talk. Another big thanks for Hey Archer for coming on and thank you for Living Life Animated. Now back to the news. Get your Sith together with the PC expansion of Star Wars The Old Republic Legacy of the Sith coming this holiday season, Legacy of the Sith is an expansion of the critically acclaimed mass multiplayer online role-playing game or MMORPG that will continue the Old Republic game storyline, sending players on a planet campaign to secure the Aqua Planet of Manon for a faction as they uncover the ultimate plans of Darth Plagueis, the renegade Sith. Also on October 8th, Secrets of the Sith will be unveiling some of the Dark Side's greatest wisdoms and Force teachings. Channel your inner Sith with this book written in the character of Palpatine himself journey down this dark path it's gonna be a ton of fun and lastly loki is the next character skin you can use in fortnite if you're subscribed to the fortnite crew pack but fans are calling this a pay to lose perk many fans are already calling on this skin being one of the worst in the game's history because of its many tactical disadvantages first being when you activate your glider a large area on the island that you land on illuminates neon green making it incredibly easy for players to detect when you're landing i have to admit the glider's entrance animation is super 
clean, but it's a big setback for players and the neon is even worse during the night. Also, the massive horns on Loki's head make it nearly impossible to aim down the side and blocks your field of view from enemies that are approaching on the sides, and the horns pretty much cover up the crosshairs rendering them useless. Fans are hoping some of these issues are fixed, but there aren't any alternate versions of this skin for the character, so unfortunately, they're just stuck with what they have for now. And that's going to be all for this weekly geek episode. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on these topics, as I'm really interested to hearing from our AAC universe. And big thanks again to Hey Archer for coming on the show, and make sure to check out all of his content. If you want to check out our most recent content, Russ the CEO just released a video covering Halo Infinite's E3 trailer, and Jake covered the games Nintendo announced during E3 as well. We've got that and a ton more, so subscribe and check out those videos. I will see you all in the next Weekly Geek. Bye!